I'm Jason. I'm Alex. And we have the top three items for taking a poop in the woods. It's a steamy debate. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Let's get started. The best products and best service from people who care and love what they do. OK Four Wheel Drive. Outfitting vehicles since 1979. All right, this is the first and probably most trusted option for doing your duty in the woods. This is the GP Factor two-piece camp shovel. It's actually a mallet and it's a shovel as well. So I just wanted to show you how that worked, right? Um, pretty straightforward. We also have a toilet paper roll holder here from Camp Cover. Um, keep your toilet paper nice and protected, dust-free protected from the rain a bit. You need to bury it if you're gonna do it in the woods. Do it the right way. Understand where you're camping and what the regulations are. Um, but this is a pretty solid first option. Alrighty, so option number two here is Rapon's PF1 portable toilet. So Rapon has two style toilets, the PF1 and the Trekker. The Trekker is an aluminum box, solid construction, portable toilet, whereas the PF1 folds down into a way smaller package. I like that because in my small Subaru, like I've mentioned in videos in the past, I don't have to waste a ton of space on a giant box. I can literally just take the top off, fold the blue piece up, and I'm good to go. And the PF1 is powered by a portable power pack. It's super easy. You install one bag right in here. You can't really screw it up. There's a track that you'll place it in. It's a one-time use bag, so after you go and seal it, you just put in another bag ready to go. So you do your business, you pull this lever up, pull the whole arm up, you'll hear a beep. That's how you know that the bag is sealed tight and you're done. All right, Alex, this one is no joke. What is this? So this is Rapon's WT4 Trekker. This is a all-in-one multi-flush toilet. Right, totally. And this actually has a film roll that stays connected all of the time yep. and kind of feeds itself. It's got its own motor in there, populates the bag uses a remote to thermocompress and seal. Um, this is pretty nice. All right, here is the lid, right? Yeah, yep. this is like a freaking briefcase. This is really nice. Yeah, and there'll be another one on the bottom. So these legs that you see here, you'll unscrew this little support. The legs fold up into the unit itself, and then you put a bottom piece on it, and you have a solid briefcase. Very nice. All right, three pretty solid options here. Where can we learn more about these? If you want to learn more about any of the options we talked about today, just go to ok4wd.com. So what's your top? I mean, we've covered all three of these. Which is your top item? Uh, I have a top two. Oh, you have a top two? Oh, God, he's getting real funny. <laughs> so my top two would be the PF1 or the shovel, if I were going to go. Yeah, I've never used the Trekker before, um, but I'd probably say PF1 for packability. Yeah, that's a wrap. Like, subscribe, smash that bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time.